neuroscience is becoming much more accessible, you know, and you and I both love following Dr. Andrew Huberman. And I think he does a lot on, on uh, the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is, which is the, the neurotransmitter that's responsible for motivation and reward. Mm. And, and I, I love hearing about the neuroscience because it breaks it all down into what fundamentally drives us. And it's, it's literally just staying alive and procreation. That's yeah. really how we're wired. And, you know, you think about really trying to understand what a chimp does to, in order to procreate or stay alive and then kind of hack that or, or, or use that knowledge base and apply it to the areas of your life that you're struggling in. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful way to really understand how you can achieve your goals. And, and the thing is, you know, to use an example of food, um, you know, to kind of go along with, with what you're saying is here is you got a chimp and I was, I was having a conversation about this recently with a client, you know, if you're, you're a chimp out there in the middle of nowhere and you're really hungry, it, it's going to be fear and pain that's motivating you more than, you know, quote unquote, motivation and goal driven, purpose driven, I'm happy mm -hmm. sort of thing. If I don't find a banana tree, I'm going to die. Yeah. Fear is the motivational force there, you know, yeah. and now we live in a world where we have as many banana trees as we could possibly want in our house around us mm -hmm. that grow all the time. And we just press a button and it comes to <clears> us. <throat> so yeah. what we actually have to do is remove the banana trees and our ability to access the bananas to yeah. make it really hard. And, you know, Tony Robbins says, um, burn the boats, make it impossible not to achieve your goal because the alternative is, is dire. Yeah, totally, totally. And, uh, you know, the whole burn your boats, uh, you know, metaphor and analogy is, uh, it's a powerful one because it gives you a real sense of discomfort and, um, it gives you a sense of unfamiliarity because growing up in the world that we all grow up in, in a developed nation, um, that we, we live in, uh, that we have our creature comforts around us. We're not, we don't know what it's like to mm. be in that survival mode, but when people are in that survival mode, they get shit done. You know, that is what motivates you to actually get stuff done. So being in that element of discomfort is powerful.